Hey everybody, Al Bazzi out here in uh, Detroit. Uh, I have my special guest with me, Graham Parham with Highlands Residential Mortgage. And uh, he's one of our preferred lenders that we work with. And we thought we would take this time during this, uh, if you want to call it a scary time in this world, uh, where we're experiencing a whole bunch of changes with uh, wearing face masks and sanitizers and gloves and the who knows where, you know, economy wise. And I thought this would be a good time to bring in one of the uh, experts in the industry. Um, Graham, how are you? I'm doing really good. Uh, you know, we were talking about the how people are scared and everything. And I think we all are scared to a certain extent. And <clears throat> I think I shared with you earlier, I just jumped on a plane and flew to Florida for the weekend and came yeah. back. So, I, you know, I had my mask on. I did my Uber drives with my mask on and went to restaurants. And, you know, everybody's wide open, ready to go. Of course, the servers had the mask on, which is good. So I, I think, you know, the world is starting to adjust. Sure. I think things are getting better. And uh, I'm excited about all of it. I, I know our industry is still very, very strong. You know, we do have some liquidity problems other than the Fannie Freddie stuff. But what you guys are doing, I mean, it, it, I mean, my volume has not stopped. It's gone up. I and mean, then you, awesome. you guys are crushing it. You really are. It's great. Good. Well, I'm happy to hear that. I had some questions for you that I kind of jotted down that I wanted just to go over with you. So everybody else can that's watching this can have a sense of comfort or, or at least have some uh, closure on some of these questions. Uh, for sure. example, um, how, is he, how easy is it or is it difficult now to get a loan? Has any requirements changed through the Fannie Freddie traditional loan? The, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, the Fannie Freddie, once again, is the only people left on the, on the playing field currently, other than like non-QM, portfolio, non-recourse. Sure. But all the Fannie Freddie lenders, and we're blowing and going, the only change that I know that we've implemented is for people that are self-employed. So if you take uh, like a person that maybe work, uh, owns a restaurant, he's in the service business. Yeah. Well, he, had to, he had to shut his restaurant then, okay? And now he's back opening up his restaurant. So he will be impacted or that business will be impacted, you know, being self-employed. So what we do is we do take a look at the, the last two years and hopefully by this point, they would have had the 19 taxes completed. So what we do is we go back to the beginning of the year and we do a profit and loss or they provide sure. us with a profit and loss on their business showing us they, they really haven't missed a lick and they provide some business uh, bank accounts showing that they have some you know incoming uh, income to validate which we normally don't get for loans so that's really the only thing and it's primarily for self-employed borrowers the people that are not self-employed all we're doing is the day of closing we're calling the employer is the person at work are they getting the full salary or pay or whatever just to make sure they haven't yeah. been impacted or furloughed. So other than that, everything's the same. Awesome. And and talk to me a little bit more about the funding process. Has that changed in regards to this time during no, this pandemic? No, everything's the same. Okay. Yeah, and, and what about rates? Can you discuss rates with us, how, how they've yeah. kind of fluctuated or if they have? Well, rates have come down. Yes, they are. Uh, we're in a very favorable position right now for anybody, whether refinancing, buying a new home, or investment properties. And I think all my clients are taking advantage of the low rates for investment properties right now. The rates are good. You're going to have better cash flows. The inventory's there. So rates right now, uh, and there's, you know, several things that make up rates, but there's a range anywhere from say 3.65 to 4% on a single family resident uh, purchase. Uh, and that's on a 30 year fixed rate with no prepayment penalty and no points. So the rates are in line. It's great. People, when I tell them, oh, Hey, okay. Yeah. We, I'm going to have to lock it 3.625. What? That's crazy. It is crazy. It really is. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, when we do our performance, typically I, I give them like a 5% right. figure on my performa. So you're, you're, you know, well below that. So, so I got to probably adjust my performa, but it's nice to hear that. that. It's nice to hear that, you know, the rates are still in favorable positions for, you know, buyers out there today. And, uh, and it's not, not to say for all lenders, but it is for us because all lenders that are having a, a lot of refinance activity. A lot of the lenders are kind of tapping on the brakes saying, well, let's raise the rates a little bit so we can slow production down. We're not doing that way. We're set up differently. We, do, we deliver all of our loans directly to Fannie. Well, last but not least, I'll, I'll leave the, the listeners for this. Talk about us. Talk about the other markets that you work in. Talk about maybe how the experience or what's going on in some of the other markets you work with um, in, in reference to, you know, what's going on today. I think, the providers like yourself and all the markets around the country, you know, I'm sure you guys were a little bit nervous there at first, you know, the March, April kind of time frame. But uh, 
it's blowing and going. I mean, it's amazing how many people I've talked to this week that said, man, I've sold this many properties today. I mean, they're back in the mix. <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth, Graham. We, d we did 11 purchase agreements in the last two weeks. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. It's just exploded. I think the people that were sitting on the sidelines say, hey, the rates are down, inventory is there, why am I waiting? And they're yeah. getting into it, you know? Yeah. And so it's been good. So we've been crazy busy. I'm sure you have. All the markets as far, I mean, none of them have experiencing any type of depreciations. The, their their business has gone through the roof. It's just nuts. It really awesome. is. Awesome. Well, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much for being a trusted partner of ours, a preferred lender of ours. And uh, I have nothing but good experiences, especially that comes from all of my clients that I refer to you. So thanks for being one of the best out there. Well, thank you, Al. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me on today. Awesome. Well, thank you. And we look forward to working with you hopefully soon. All right. Take care.